Which Pokemon controls kings, queens, knights, and lots of pawns? Chesspin. Bike Chain Starters, Episode 18, Chesspin. What's going on? I'm PokeWelder Zach, and today we're making Chesspin out of bike chains. Before we get started, when this video hits 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person from the comment section below. So, what do you think about the intro joke? Do you have a better one, or do you just like Chesspin? While you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a whole lot. So, with all that, let's get on to the build. Let's see if we can get ourselves a bike chain checkmate. I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out. So, starting with uh, the layout of Chespin, uh, we use a series of four, six, um, a bunch of eights, another four for the head and the hat, uh, and then some sixes and a three for the body, and then some single links and flat links for the arms and extra details. So, to start up for the head, we're going to be using two square four links, which will be the top and the bottom of the head, two sixes, which will make up the um, sort of sandwiching layers, and then uh, three eights, which are going to make up the middle portion of the head. This is significantly different than the original design I did, uh, where I tried to do the cap and the head separate, and it just straight up did not work out very well. Um, as you can see here, uh, the original design and the new design, and the new design is significantly better. All right, so now to uh, stack them and tack them. Uh, we pretty much just add a quick tack on each side as we build the head up, stacking the uh, sort of descending link sizes. So you can see the head here. Uh, now we're gonna use those flat links to add the details onto the head. Uh, he's got these little like sticks or leaves or twigs or I don't know what they are, but they're coming off his hat, which I'm not sure what that is either. Maybe it's a hood. I think it's more of a hood. Um, but we're going to add those flat links on and then cut the bottom ones down just because they are a little bit smaller in the design as well. So once uh, we're just taking the angle grinder, grinding them down just a little bit to give them some, uh, some differentiation from the top parts. And then for the top part of the hood hat thingamajig, uh, we're gonna add three more flat links uh, and we're gonna sort of overlap them so that they make his little tri spike on top. Now for the body, we're gonna use a uh, three link a, and then two five links here. Um, and these are sort of a weird uh, link size. I don't use them too much. Um, they're sort of particular body shapes and Chespin just happens to be one of those body shapes. Um, so we're going to add the three on one side and then the five on the other, uh, which will end up giving him sort of a belly and then the back of the hood. Uh, so I'm actually going to stick that point in the bottom of the head uh, so that it fits in there nice and nice and snug. And then we tacked it on there. Um, and in this case, I had to use a magnet to hold it in place. And we're just going to attach those arms and legs, which are just little single link pieces. Uh, also, again, the arms are the same, but the legs are uh, a little bit different. I ended up turning them from the original design. Now the tail is just going to be a uh, two link piece that's going to go onto the uh, little behind right there, uh, attaches to the bottom of the hood. So that is the welding portion. And now we're just going to clean it up with the angle grinder and Dremel, and then we'll get on to the paint. So this is the raw form for Chespin. Um, I really like how this particular design turned out. Let's talk Patreon. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more and want to help support the channel, consider checking out Patreon in the description below. I post updates, announcements, special events, and it's where I host my Pokemon of the month. So, if any of that sounds interesting, go ahead and check it out. I want to thank all my current patrons, all my future patrons, and with that, let's get back to the video. Alright, now for the paint, we're going to give him a light brown base, and then we're going to add the finer colors and finer details using the acrylic paints per usual. Uh, this one is a light green for the hood. It does get a little bit darker once it uh, dries out, um, but basically just going through and with this paint and trying to get in all the cracks and crevices. I usually try to avoid painting, uh, hand painting large surfaces like this. 
Um, well, it's not a large surface, but there is a lot more and it's a lot easier to spray paint this, but I don't have a very good, I couldn't find a good green for this. And so um, I had to mix up a decent number of colors just to get this portion of the green. Um, and then for the arms, the legs, and the few facial features, it's just gonna be a darker brown um, to uh, add some, again, his standard chest pin colors. Uh, he's a light brown with some dark brown accents. Um, and then for his, of course, pink little nose, can't forget that. Um, he's got those big claws on his, I think they're claws, on his uh, bottom feet. So we're gonna paint those white. Um, and then the final details, we'll be adding some pink onto the tip of the tail. And uh, that is it for painting on Chespin. Now you've seen him go from his raw chains all the way up to his final design. So leave a comment on uh, what you think of the final design. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed the video and watching Chespin come to life. Again, when the video hits 1,000 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway to one person from the comment section below. So, what did you think about the video? What would you like to see more of? And what Pokemon would you like to see in the future? Next week, we'll be doing a video for the Pokemon of the Month. So, if you want to have an influence on that, go ahead, check out the description below. I host voting over on my Patreon. After that, we'll be back on schedule with the Pokemon Starter Series. So until then, sign off with a toe dial smile.